Hey family, it's Michael Bazin here to tell you about my new show called Talk To Me. It'll be airing on my new YouTube channel, Bazin At The Dark. Now you all talk a lot of stuff on social media. You know, you make a lot of comments, we have a lot of fun, you all are very engaging and I appreciate it. But now it's time to talk face to face. Unlike radio where you have to talk fast, you got the commercial breaks, we get a chance to slow things down, get a little deeper and have a little face to face conversation. And you know, we got a lot to talk about relationships, right? Being single, being married, some of the challenges of being married, and of course, sex, because you all know I love talking about sex. But I want to kick off the first show with something that's a little more personal. And there's nothing more personal to me than my relationship with my daughter, who I've been talking about on the radio for 20 plus years. And she's got a great new show coming out as well called Catch Me Before I Fall. So, Mache, tell them about your new show. What's up, beautiful people? Mache Bazin here, here to tell you guys about my new series, Catch Me Before I Fall, which was just created out of my insatiable curiosity for life, right? I wanted to start to talk to some women who were experts in their field, innovators, and a little bit controversial when it came to relationships and love. Um, and, you know, my mom will call me hard headed, but I am actually creating this space to call women in and receive some uh, wisdom, right? Because they failed, they've suffered, and they've evolved and thrived. And so I want to talk to them, right? I'm trying to make sure that I don't fall into the same patterns and, fa and fall into the same traps. Um, that they may have. So this is a, a call a call for help. And I'm super excited. And what I'm most excited about is the first episode, Dad. <laughs> it's going to be great because it's going to be a response to the show that I'm going to be doing with the father. So fellas, for all the good dads out there, I know there's a lot of great dads out there, particularly those of you who have daughters of dating age, you know, that's when the drama starts, fellas. <laughs> so Mache's show, Catch Me Before I Fall, is gonna be a response to that show. We're gonna talk to the men and their daughters first, and then Mache's gonna talk to some of the mothers and daughters. It's gonna be a great opportunity to get deep. And one of the things I wanna talk about first is the idea of talking to our daughters about these men who are selling the fantasy, the men who are trying to get them all hyped up. But you had another expression for it, Mache. Yes, it is called love bombing. It is called love bombing, which is when, you know, those first few uh, weeks of getting to know each other, they start talking about marriage and they're just super affectionate and all these gifts and promises, which makes you believe that you've had love at first sight, right? And it's actually a form of manipulation. So I know that there's women who might experience this and women are supposed to be, right, the fantasy. I want Romeo. I want love. I want to be proposed to. And it's like, but how do we, like, you know, we need that male perspective to say, well, how do I carry discernment Why? While I'm out engaging with these men. So that's what I'm, I'm really excited to talk about that with you. <laughs> and then men and being as fathers, once again, fellas, I need you all support on this. Our job as fathers is kind of define manhood, right? Define, define what a man is. So a woman knows what a man is and what his role is to, I like to say we ruin our daughters, right? That's what men say. I'm going to ruin you. And women have also said, my father ruined me. But again, there's another expression you wanted yes. to use. Yes. <laughs> He knows I hate it when he uses that word. <laughs> I like to say my my father has set me up for um, uh, at the standards, right? He set me up for certain uh, standards of excellence, right? Like that's what my dad has set the example. He's not ruining me. He's setting the standard for excellence. That's the that's the objective. So there's a story that I, I want to share with you guys. It also has a lot to do with what I want to talk about when the men come onto the show with their daughters. And that is, you know, being there, being available for our daughters. And so they learn to have men who are available for them. When my daughter was very young, I was living in Dallas. Uh, she called me and I was watching the Bulls game. It was back in, I think it was back in 1995. So, you know, Jordan was still playing. And my daughter called me and she was like, hey, dad, what you doing? And I'm sitting here halfway listening to her and halfway watching the game. I said, look, princess, let me call you back. And then I got off the phone with her. About two minutes later, her mother calls me back. And she's like, what did you say to her? I'm like, I didn't say nothing to her. I was just watching the game. And she said, she's crying. I'm like, why is she crying? I was like, put her back on. I said, princess, what's wrong? She said, I called to talk to you and you supposed to talk to me. And, and you just were really sad about it. I was like, oh my God, I turned the TV off. I couldn't TiVo back then, right, Mache? <laughs> there was no way to pause no the game. No DVR. <laughs> right, no DVR. But that day, and I told this story in my book, that moment demonstrated to me that you have to be there for your daughter because she calls you, she wants to talk to you, and you should be enthusiastic about hearing from her. What, what are your thoughts on that? 
now again ladies i'm here for you because the conversation is well why isn't he texting me back and men always have a, a retort to that which is, hey i'm busy i'm working and i'm gonna just i'm gonna just share a little bit dad if you don't go mind. Ahead, go ahead. okay okay my dad was like if, if i'm busy it's like hey i'm busy i'll call you you know i'll call you after five that's it, right? And so women, we're always giving these caveats. We're always letting men off the hook. And again, it's like, I need my dad there to tell me, no, don't let him off the hook. You know, like my dad is there to tell me like, no, you need to hold these men accountable because it's not that hard to show up for you. And no, I you love can. like, psh, man, man. <laughs> you know, the concept of Catch Me Before I Fall and Princess, you know, I'm constantly telling you how much I love the title of that show because as fathers, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to catch our daughters before they fall. We're trying to catch our daughters before they get damaged. Let's be straight up about it, fellas. And many times we're trying to protect them against the damage that we've caused other women in our lives. So the whole concept behind this and why I'm looking forward to hearing from other fathers is to emphasize the importance of giving our daughters that security of knowing no matter what else happens, no matter if you fall, I got you. Now, I know we can't keep our daughters from experiencing pain and disappointment life, right? I mean, that's a part of life, but at least they know I got you. I think that's an important thing uh, for daughters to know and for women to make sure our daughters date men who also are there to, to catch them uh, when they fall. So to all the men out there, fellas, I need you all to reach out to me on this post or you all can hit me up on my social media pages on Instagram, Bayesian Live or inbox me here at Michael Bayesian Live. I would love to have you guys on the show to hear your stories about how, you know, some of the experiences you had raising your daughters and I need you on with your daughters. So I'll be on with my daughter. We'll be talking. We'll have some other fathers and daughters on. And then, of course, Michelle, you got a great show coming up that's going to be a response to that. How do they reach out to you? Yes, if you guys would like to be a guest on my show, please visit my Facebook page. It has the YouTube channel and the form where you can um, let me know which show you want to be on. We're also going to be talking about uh, body, uh, body positivity, body shame, relationship sex. So I want to call in as many women as I can. So um, yes, go to my Facebook page, which y'all can find on, on my dad's page. <laughs> it's called Catch Me Before I Fall, though. Just uh, look it up on Facebook. All right, family, let's do this. There's so much to talk about. And again, you all are very outspoken on your comments and I appreciate it, but I wanna to talk to you face to face. It's time to get off the radio. It's time to get off of social media and it's time to talk to me face to face. And you all know we have a lot to talk about. So I'll see you all on my show, talk to me on my daughter's show, Catch Me Before I Fall. Looking forward to having a lot of deeper conversations, man. We can take our time and really get into these topics. Take care, family. Looking forward to having you on the shows. Have a good night.